Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Homie Hector here and today we're gonna be working on this 09 Traverse and we're gonna be swapping out this side mirror. This side mirror was hit at first glance. It doesn't look like anything bad really happened but if you look under here you can see a small crack right there and if you come around this side you can see the mirror is all flimsy over here as you're driving this makes noise but worst of all the glass is cracked and it makes for a very unsafe driving condition you can miss somebody in your blind spot you boom a ver. we're gonna be swapping out this whole mirror today we can just change the glass but since the housing is flimsy like this we're gonna go ahead and swap it out with one that i picked up from amazon and this is a mirror that we're going to be putting on there guys i picked this one up from amazon for about 60 bucks which is about half the price of an oe1 and let's not even mention if you wanted the mirror to match the paint of the truck all right so this is a fraction of the cost from amazon i'll put a link down in the description so that you guys can check it out now we're going to be painting this mirror here at home so we're going to cover up everything that we don't want painted on the front i'm going to cover the glass and i'm going to cover all the edges really well because i'm going to get inside here and inside here so that all this is silver and when we're done with it it's going to look oe on the back of the mirror we have this plastic over here that we don't want to paint we're only going to be painting this part of the mirror we're going to cover up this turn signal light over here and then we can start scuffing it up and get it ready for paint when we're done with this it's going to look like nothing ever happened Alright homies, I got the mirror all taped up where I don't want to get any paint. So as you guys can see, I taped up the glass, I taped up this side piece, and I also put a little bit of tape on the electrical connector just so that I won't get any paint in there because paint will act as an insulator and it'll make for a bad connection. Now that I got the whole thing covered up in tape where I don't want to get any paint, I'm going to scuff it up with some 500 or 600 grit sandpaper just so that the paint has something to stick to. Then I'm going to hit it with some wax and grease remover, maybe a tack cloth, and then we can lay down some paint. Alright guys, got my piece all scuffed up. You can see it's ready for paint. I just gotta clean it with some wax and grease remover, then hit it with the tack cloth, and then we can hit it with some paint. Now real quick, since this was such a small piece when I was sanding, I didn't use a sanding block. But if you are looking for some sanding blocks, I'd recommend you get some of these. These are from a company called DuraBlock, and they're very good for sanding flat surfaces. I'm gonna put a link down in the description so that you can check it out. But highly, highly recommend if you're going to be doing a lot of body work. All right, I got some trisodium phosphate, a little bit left in here. I'm just going to spray it on a microfiber rag and I'm going to wipe this panel down. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Then once it's dry, we're going to hit it with a tack cloth and then we can start spraying. All right, so the paint that I'm going to be using is from a company called Automotive Touch Up. I'll put the link down in the description, but pretty much you go to their website, you got to find your paint code on your car. On mine, it is Chevy 636R. This is a silver, I believe it's called Switchblade Silver. And I also got a can of their clear coat. Now this is not a 2K clear, but it's half the price. So I went ahead and picked it up just so that I can have the same product from the same company. All right, so automotive touch up, link is down in the description. Get your paint coat, check them out, and hopefully we get a good matching paint. Okay, now before I start painting, I'm gonna hit it real quick with a tack rag so we can have a nice smooth finish. So I'm gonna start off with a very light coat and then I'll pick it up and do a medium and maybe a heavy coat as I go. I'm gonna let that dry for about five to 10 minutes. 
and then I'll hit it again. There's one more thing. Make sure you wear a respirator, some kind of face mask, something that will protect your lungs and all your little crevices from getting paint in them. I picked this one up from Amazon. Make sure you check the link down in the description if you want to get something like this. So I'm gonna hit it with a third coat now. Every time you're spraying with rattle cans, you wanna make sure you shake it up right before you spray. I'm gonna let it dry for about 10 minutes and then I can start with my clear coat. Where I'm at in Pomona, it's 61 degrees. It's later on at night, so it's a little colder out here. Now, if you wanna help your paint dry a little faster, you can use a heat gun. That's what I'm gonna do so that I can speed up the process. I'm gonna help it dry. I'm gonna add the clear. Then I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun again. Help it dry. Harbor Freight heat gun, 10 bucks. Think about it. Okay, once the paint is dry, we're ready to clear. But one thing you wanna do before you clear is go ahead and hit it with the tack rack once again. Since we are painting in the garage, this thing is more prone to catch dust and little particles and whatnot into the paint. So one more time, hit it with the tack rack and then we can start clearing. Alright, I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna help it with the heat gun so it can dry a little faster. I'll probably do three medium coats of this clear so that if we need to cut and buff to get it nice and shiny, we have enough clear to do that. All right, so check this out. I was reading the instructions and it says right here to apply four to five coats of this clear coat and let it dry overnight completely. If necessary, buff with a rubbing compound the day after or wet sand with 1500 and then buff with rubbing compound. So I'm gonna spray two more coats of this. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. We're gonna come check it in the morning and we're gonna see if we need any sanding and buffing. Uh, most likely we won't, but if we want to get a nice shiny look, then we're going to do it. Okay, so two more coats of this and then we'll be done for tonight. All right, so it's the following morning. I let this mirror dry overnight. About four to five layers of clear coat. And this thing is looking pretty nice. So right now what I'm going to do is remove the tape 
and pop it on the truck and see how it looks compared to the rest of the truck see how good of a match this is this is automotive touch-up paint from automotive touchuppaint.com that's what it's looking like right now I'm actually pretty happy with the results it looks really really nice and it looks like it's actually gonna be a good match so uh, my wife is actually working right now she has a truck when she gets back hopefully the other side mirror isn't broken <laughs> and then we'll pop this one on there and then we'll compare it we'll see how good of a match it is and that'll be it so let me untape this let me unmask everything and we'll have a good look at it Okay, so this is what it looks like once it's all unmasked. You can see how good the gray looks next to the black, that high contrast that we have here. The glass looks good. We got the paint in and around the glass inside. Three coats of paint, four coats of clear, and this is what it looks like. I don't even think we're gonna have to cut and buff. You can see how the light looks good. We got no paint on it. We did have a little mishap over here on the bottom of the mirror. You can see right there. There's a little bit of paint right there. We're just going to take a little bit of paint thinner on a rag and clean that up and that'll be looking good. We're going to pop this on the truck. We're going to see how good it looks compared to the rest of the paint and that'll be it for this one. All right, I'm going to get started by removing the door panel. Pretty simple. There's a cover right here that has to come off. There's a cover right here that has to come off. There are screws behind there. Then we can pop it off and move over to the mirror. I'm just using a small flathead screwdriver like this. But you can also use a small pick like this to get right behind it. I'll put links for everything that I'm using down in the description so that you can pick it up if you like. There's a little groove right there where you can... Now these are torque screws. This one is a T30 and there's two more down here. Now we can pull the panel out and unclip it from the door. Let me just tell you real quick. There's something about this design of clips that makes it very difficult to remove the door panel. So you're gonna struggle a little bit. You're gonna have to try to actually clip it on here. So with this tool, you're actually gonna have to get in here and pry out on every clip. If you don't do it this way, the plastic's gonna break and you're just gonna have a long day. After you do that, you unclip this little cable for the door handle, take it out, and now we're at the connectors. The last connector that I have is for the actual mirror. So we're gonna take this off right here. Okay, we're gonna unclip from here, remove these two 10 millimeter bolts, and then behind this plastic over here, there's another 10 millimeter bolt hidden in there. Three tenths holding the side mirror in. And now everything is just the reverse of what we just did. Here we go. All right, so I got all the connectors in there. I have the door handle cable in there. You gotta make sure that door opens and closes when you're all done here. Just gotta put the screws back in and then we'll take a look at the mirror. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this one. 09 Chevy Traverse side mirror replacement. 75 bucks for the mirror, about 40 bucks for the paint. So about 125 bucks, we got it done. The dealership wanted 450 bucks just for the mirror and they told me that I still had to take it to a body shop to have it painted. Crazy. I just showed you guys how to do it, paint it, and if you ask me, this mirror right here is a perfect match to the rest of the truck. Something you can do at home yourself with basic hand tools. Don't forget to check the links in the description to get all the supplies to get the job done. Alright, so that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to end it here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.